Hi, I'm Austin. And I'm Brenda. And we're the anchors. Oh, oh wait. Now to Brandon with another card trick. Hi, I'm Brandon, and I'm doing another new magic trick. This one's called the horseshoe. So for this one, it should be 30 cards. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. 30. The rest, you don't need. Now, I'm going to go on the Alright, now Hannah, my assistant, pick a number 6 through 16. 10. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This is your card. Okay. Now, I just put it on the top. Oh no, you put it on the top. Okay. Well, I'll shuffle. Put it in here. That's all you hear you shuffle for me. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to get rid of two piles that I do not think your card is in. Um, the card is not here. Okay. All right. If I pick three piles, I can choose to leave them there or to get rid of them. Pick one more. Pick another one. Third card. And I'm reviewing the magic trick I did last week. So, the magic trick was called 13, and it's actually pretty simple. So, truth is, you don't really need th six piles. Um, you just fill out the cards uh, until you run out. So, you have eight right here, rest are one, trying to get 13. So, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Queen, twelve, thirteen. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See, not enough, so extras. Now, it doesn't matter what three piles they flip over, and you only have to memorize it. So, Logan, flip over three piles. It does not matter which ones he picks. Now, you're going to gather the extras you have, because you couldn't make it to 13 with the three, and the rest of the face up. Now, the order does not matter at this point. Now, Logan, flip over the top card two piles. It doesn't matter what card, it doesn't matter what pile. So you start out with 10. If you can find an excuse why you start out with 10, that's great, but I never found one. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then you do 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Then 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, this is a card that was not, that was not flipped over, and the, the remainder of the card should be its value. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Not to love him with his newspaper article. Hi, my name is Logan, and I'm going to be talking about a newspaper article. It was by Rick Morrissey, and he talks about how the NFL punishment scale is like 
really bad. Um, but one of the comparisons he talks about is Greg Hardy. He had a 10-game suspension for choking a woman, picking her up, and then throwing her down versus four games for deflating a football. Some people use the excuse that the Patriots cheated before when they recorded the Jets' defensive signals. But, uh, and then they also compare four games for deflated footballs versus Ray Rice originally got two games for his suspension when he knocked out his wife, but that got fixed to a whole year. And then they claim it's to protect the Reedy's reputation because it'd be bad to have deflated footballs. But I, he thinks that beating someone up or using performance enhancing drugs is a little bit worse than deflating footballs. He also says that there are many more people who use drugs in the NFL. They're just like ahead of the NFL and hiding it. And he also says, um, which is more of an advantage, inflated muscles or deflated footballs? And then he says, which is a young athlete going to copy steroids or a different performance enhancing drug or deflating footballs? And I feel like the last thing he said got the point across the best. It's feel free to abuse women and brains. Just don't mess with the footballs. Now back to the anchors. Nice newspaper article, Logan. Now to Austin Fletchman. Hi, I'm Austin. I'm doing lunch. One day, there is no school. I'm going to be that hungry. Tuesday is chicken pay. You like chicken? Wednesday is pizza. Pizza, pizza. Thursday is cook's choice. Mystery. And Friday is Cook's Choice. What's it gonna be? Now back to the Not to rob with his self enemy. Sure. Hello, my name is Rob, and I am interviewing me. Just for, I will be asking about ISIS. And just for those who do not know, ISIS is a group of ex Hussein's army who, who formed ISIS and went crazy and started killing people. And now on to the questions. The U.S. Army thinks that the next attack from ISIS will be a 9-11 style attack. What do you think on this? I do not think it, was, it is possible, given how much U.S. security has improved, and, well, it just doesn't seem feasible. Did you hear that there is already a book on ISIS? Yes, and I think it was written before we know how the U.S. and ISIS will react to each other, so it was written too hastily. What do you think about ISIS? I obviously think that they are evil, but I don't know if we should be sticking our nose in others pe other people's business unless that country asks for our help, which they didn't really do. Mr. Morrell, the author of this book that we talked about, doesn't believe that, 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 that the riot against Al-Qaeda was not about Al-Qaeda. I do not believe this. I think that a protest against Al-Qaeda is a protest against Al-Qaeda. I don't understand where he gets this from. Okay, now to you, anchors. Wow, you guys have a lot in common. Why, thank you! Now to Morgan and Jody with Guinness World Records. I'm Jody. And I'm Morgan. And we're doing Guinness World Records. The largest gathering of people dressed as penguins. Children's Hospice Richard House got 325 oversized penguins to waddle together in Woodford, London, UK, on Guinness World Record Day. Most people twerking. On September 25, 2013, there were 358 people twerking simultaneously in New York City. Fastest lemon juice drinker. The fastest time to drink one liter of lemon juice is 10 seconds by Michael Jenkins. Heaviest living man. The heaviest living man is Manuel Irby, weighing 1,235 pounds. The tallest living person. The tallest living person is 8 feet and 3 inches tall. The 
Next is million follower count. When President Obama joined Twitter, he broke the million follower record count. Nope. Now to the anchor. That's Thomas Washington Pass. Hey kids, remember these TV shows? Because you probably do. Here's a flash from the past. TV shows including Danny Phantom, Kim Possible, Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends, Billy and Mandy, iCarly, Bob the Builder, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, Sweet Life on Deck, Totally Spies, The Backyardigans, Fairly Odd Parents, Ed, Ed and Eddie, Jimmy Neutron, Powerpuff Girls, Phineas and Ferb, Courage the Cowardly Dog, Ben 10, Avatar the Last Airbender, Teen Titans, Chowder, Codename Kid Next Door, Back of the Barnyard. Camp Laszlo, Wonder Pets, Flash with Rough Ruffman, Drake and Josh, The Land Before Time, Total Drama Island, My partner, my gym partner's a monkey, Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, Baby Tunes, Tom and Jerry, Teletubbies, and Leo and Stitch. Thank you. Wow, I remember all those TV shows. Now to Gabe with weather. Hi, I'm Gabe, I'm doing weather. Monday, the Memorial Day, there's a high of 75 and a low of 64. Tuesday, um, there's nothing going on. It's a boring day, but there's going to be a high of 79 and a low of 61. On Wednesday, when we go to Six Flags, there's a high of 79 and a low of 61. Thursday, when we go to the park, there's a high of 73 and a low of 55. Friday, there's also a high of 73 and a low of 55. All week, it's going to be cloudy, so we're going to pretend that it's going to be sunny. Have a sun! I'm Caillou. I'm Hannah Montana. I'm Justin Bieber. Where? LeBron James. I'm Batman. I'm Drew. I'm Drew. I'm Bob the Builder. I'm Tom Brady. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you, Hannah. Thank you for being a part of our newscast. Yay! Best director.